First, I would like to um, start panel discussion, but before that, we'll, um, each panelist will be given a chance to speak. Um, the first panelist I would like to introduce is Mr. Philip Browning, Director of Los Angeles County Department of Public Social Services. Good morning. There are an awful lot of people here. I sure am impressed that everyone has come out. I'm the director of the Department of Public Social Services, as Supervisor Kanabi indicated. And I have some staff here that I would like for them to stand up so you'll know who they are. And one of the most important things, I think, of, about this meeting is that you might be able to meet someone personally who can assist if everything else fails. Bob, you want to stand up? Bob Militage is the director of the civil rights operation for us, which handles a lot of our language translations. We've got Deborah Walker, who is an expert in Medi-Cal itself. We've got Michelle. Michelle, can you stand up? Okay. We have some individuals here who I think can answer questions I might not be able to. But I'd like to start off by saying that I'm sorry we haven't done as much as we could have to put letters and forms in your language. I frankly did not realize what a problem it was, and I can tell from the uh, individuals who spoke how difficult it must be for you. In Los Angeles County, we have 2.2 million people that we serve every day. We have about 15,000 individuals who have indicated that Korean is their first language. We only have about 38 individuals who are Korean-speaking staff in DPSS. So we have a challenge to meet your needs. We're going to need some of your help. We have an automated system which sends out notices and letters, and it's been programmed for two languages, English and Spanish. That's a problem, and we recognize that. We've been working for some months to have all of the languages translated in in all the forms and have an automated process which will distribute forms and letters in your language. That automated process will not be available until later this year. Yes, sir. <laughs> we have a manual process where workers, when they look at the computer, and your name comes up, they can print off a form in your language and write your name and the appropriate information, the date, on it. What I have found out this week is that we need to improve our workers' participation in that process. We're going, we have identified a manner in which we can improve for Medi-Cal and food stamps and CalWORKs the language translation forms that you receive. I did not know that we were not doing as good a job as we should have been doing until this week. And I believe that we can correct that in a very short period of time. One of the things I would like for you to do before you leave is to, some of you, I don't have enough business cards for all of you, but for some of you to take a business card of mine, and if this problem isn't resolved very quickly, I want you to give me a call personally so I can know firsthand what's going on. I do understand how important it is for letters to come and notices to come in your language. We have tried to hire more Korean-speaking staff and have been unable to do so. I have agreed to pay for our staff 
to learn the Korean language. They say that is very, very hard. You have a language that is very difficult, and I'm sure that I could not learn it. And I do really appreciate those of you who are trying to learn English, uh, trying to learn English. I know that is hard also. We're trying to do everything we can, and we need your assistance. There could be some things that, that you know about that would help that I don't know about. So I hope this is an opportunity for me to learn more about what we can do to improve the notices and forms that come from DPSS. Remember, we don't handle the Social Security Administration letters or notices. We do not handle SSI. But I have seen this form here, which very clearly is DPSS. And so I certainly do want to improve what we're doing.